Welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with the new topic, chapter 13, Gas Laws and Kinetic Theory. Okay, so we will discuss 13.1 ideal gas equations. So, what is the meaning of the gas ideal gas equations? Ideal gas is defined as the perfect gas which obeys three gas law. The first one is the Boyce law, where the pressure of the fixed mass of an ideal gas at a constant temperature is inversely proportional. Okay, so we can write PV equals to constant. Okay, or we can write it as P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. Okay, so this is the graph where we plot, plot P versus the volume. Okay, next one is the Charles Law. Charles Law is when the volume of the fixed mass mass of an ideal gas at the constant pressure. Okay, so our equation we can write it as V over T equals to constant or we can write it as V1 over T1 equals to V2 over T2. Okay. So this is the graph. Okay, next one is the gay lussac law, where the pressure of the fixed mass of an ideal gas at a constant volume. Okay, so when V constant, P over T is also equals to constant, or we can write it as P1 over T1 equals to P2 over T2. Okay, so we will get a linear graph. Okay, next one, we will continue with the ideal gas equations. Okay, so the ideal gas is defined as the perfect gas which obeys these three laws, the Boyce law, Charles law, and also gay lussac law. So uh, we can combine all of these three equations to get the equation PV over T equals to constant. Okay, or we can write it as P1 V1 over T1 equals to P2 V2 over T2. Okay. So for one mole of gas at the standard temperature, okay, when at the standard temperature, the pressure and also at the pressure, uh, standard pressure, our temperature is 273.15 Kelvin and our pressure is 101.3 kilopascal and at that moment, the volume is equal to 22.4 dm cubed okay? or we can write as 22.4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 negative 3 meter cube okay so the equations that we can write here we can write it as PV equals to NRT okay so this is the general equations for the ideal gas okay where our P must in Pascal volume must in meter cube okay and we can use equations to find where we can use mass per volume per molar mass or we can use the number of nucleic the number of particle over number of avogadro to find the mole and r is the constant value where it's equal to 8.31 and remember the temperature we must change to kelvin okay okay next we will go to the exercise one exercise one and ideal gas 20 degrees Celsius, so remember to change to kelvin and the pressure is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal is in a container having the volume of 1 liter okay so determine the number of mole of the gas in the container meaning that we want to find m okay so because this is the ideal gas we know that our pv is equal to n rt okay where the pressure here is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal okay volume here actually they give you 1 liter okay so 1 liter actually we can write it as 1 times we can write as 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube. Okay, so 1 liter is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, so we substitute 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube. Okay, number of mole is the value that we want to find. R is the constant value, 8.31. And the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So remember, you must convert it into Kelvin. So we plus 273.15. Okay. So if we press calculator, we will get the number of mole of the gas in the container is equal to 0 0.061 mole. Okay, so this is 1A. Okay, B, the gas push against a piston expanding to a twice of the original volume. Okay, where the pressure fall to the atmosphere pressure. Okay, so they ask us to find the final temperature. Okay, so now our V2 is equal to twice, meaning that it's equal to 2L or equals to 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3. 
And the pressure now, P2 is equal to atmosphere pressure, meaning that it's equal to 1 atm or equal to 1.013 kilopascal. So kilo, we convert into 10 to the power of 3 pascal. Okay, and we want to find the final temperature. Okay, so similar, we can use the ideal gas equation, PV equals to NRT. P is 1.013 kilo and the volume is 2 times 10 to the power of 3 liter cube equals to okay number of mole actually in the for the gas in the container is still constant so we can substitute 0 0.061 r is equals to 8.31 it's a constant value so we can find the final temperature okay so if we press calculator the final temperature that we will get is equals to 395.95 kelvin eh? because we already convert everything in kelvin Okay, next question is number two. A storage tank of STP contains of 28.5 kg nitrogen. Okay, given that the molar mass of the nitrogen is 28.01 gram per mole. Okay, what is the volume of the tank? Okay, so the word STP here meaning that it is a, a standard temperature and also the pressure. Okay, so when standard Temperature and pressure meaning that the temperature is equals to 273.15 Kelvin and the standard pressure here is equals to 1 atm or 101.3 times 10 to the power of 3 Pascal. Okay, and at that moment uh, the mass is 28.5 and the molar mass is 28.01. Okay, so why we want to find the volume? Huh? Okay, so we can use PV equals to NRT where the pressure is 101.3 kilo and the volume is the value that we want to find okay number of mole here okay as i mentioned just now number of mole we can use mass per molar mass or we can use okay the number of new particle over number of avocado to find okay so since we have the mass and also the molar mass so we can find the, uh, the mole by using mass per molar mass so it's equal to 28.5 kilogram okay so kilogram over molar mass 28.01 in gram okay so we already convert it into gram okay times the r is the constant value 8.31 and the temperature here for the standard uh, temperature we will get 273.15 kelvin okay so gram and gram we can cancel later we will get the number of mole so final volume of the tank we will get 22.8 meter cube okay to be what is the pressure if the additional 25 kg of nitrogen is added without changing of the temperature so temperature is still constant okay so we want to find the new pressure okay so similar the for case 2 p 2 is the unknown V2 is equal to 22.8 because we are using the same container and the temperature to the question say without changing so meaning that the temperature is still the same 273.15 okay so we can use PV equals to NRT where P is the value we want to find volume is 22.8 okay so number of mole here already changed because it's mass per molar mass so now our mass is adding additional 25 kg yeah? so meaning that initially is 28.5 now we, we must plus 25 okay and we need to convert it into gram eh? okay over uh, 28.01 okay so number of mole here become okay become 1910 so i substitute 1910.032 okay i don't want to run off first okay because this is not the final answer times 8.31 and the temperature still maintain uh, 273.15 okay so the final pressures okay after an additional 25 kg of nitrogen is added is equals to 1.9 times 10 to the power of 5 and the unit is in pascal okay next we go to questions number three Question number three, a volume of the vessel A is three times of the volume for B, okay? And the vessel are filled with an ideal gas and are at a steady state, okay? So steady state meaning that same pressure, 
the temperature of whistle A and also whistle B is 300 Kelvin and 500 Kelvin respectively. If the mass of the gas in the vessel is M and uh, determine the mass of the gas in the vessel B in terms of M. Okay, so these are the information that we have where we know that the volume for our vessel estate this is uh, okay, this is V1, uh, VA, where it's equal to 3V, and the volume for B only equals to V. Okay, and also the temperature already gives you 300 and 500. And keywords here is the P. Two is the unknown. V two is equal to twenty two point eight because we are using the same container. And the temperature two, the question say without changing, so meaning that the temperature is still the same two hundred and seventy three point one five. Okay, so we can use P V equals to and R T, where P is the value we want to find. Volume is twenty two point eight. Okay, so number of mole here already changed because it's mass per molar mass. So now our mass is adding additional 25 kg yeah? so meaning that initially is 28.5 now we, we must plus 25 okay and we need to convert it into gram eh? okay over uh, 28.01 okay so number of mole here become okay become 1910 so i substitute 1910.032 okay i don't want to run off first okay because this is not the final answer times 8.31 and the temperature still maintain uh, 273.15 okay so the final pressures okay after an additional 25 kg of nitrogen is added is equals to 1.9 times 10 to the power of 5 and the unit is in pascal okay next we go to questions number three Question number three, a volume of the vessel A is three times of the volume for B, okay? And the vessel are filled with an ideal gas and are at a steady state, okay? So steady state meaning that same pressure. The temperature of vessel A and also vessel B is 300 Kelvin and 500 Kelvin respectively. If the mass of the gas in the vessel is M and determine the mass of the gas in the vessel B in terms of M. Okay, so these are the information that we have where we know that the volume for our vessel estate this is uh, okay, this is V1, uh, VA, where it's equal to 3V, and the volume for B only equals to V. Okay, and also the temperature already gives you 300 and 500, and keywords here is the steady state. So when we say steady state, the pressure at vessel A is actually equal to the pressure at the uh, vessel B. Okay, so we can use PV equals to NRT to find, okay, where our PV is equal to NRT, P will equal to NRT over volume, okay, so we can write, okay, and the number of mole, we can use mass per molar mass to find, okay, so we substitute into the equation, and here is mass per molar mass, RT over volume for A equals to mass per molar mass for B times RT per volume for B. Okay, so since the molar mass for A and B are the same because they are using the same gas and the uh, constant R also the same, okay, so we can cancel off. So the mass of the A if less than is M and the temperature at A is 300 Kelvin. Volume at A is 3V, okay, is equal to uh, mass of the B is the value that we want to find per volume for B is equal to V and the temperature for B is equal to 500, okay. So V and V we can cancel. So finally, the mass for vessel B is equal to M over 5, okay. Okay, next we go to question number four. Okay, question number four refer the figure above. Initially, A contains of three meter cube and uh, ideal gas at a temperature of 250 Kelvin and the pressure is given five times 10 to the power of four Pascal. Okay. Okay, while well, B contains of 7.2 meter cube of the same gas at a temperature of 400 Kelvin and two times 10 to the power of four Pascal. Okay, calculate the pressure after the connecting tap has been opened and the system reaches equilibrium. Okay, so when we say equilibrium, meaning that 
at the end the pressure is same okay, assuming that A is keep at 250 Kelvin and B is 400 Kelvin okay so we want to find uh, what is the pressure okay so I write down all the information that we have where VA initially is 3 meter cube and the uh, temperature is 250 Kelvin okay pressure for A initially is 5 times 10 to the power of 4 Pascal whereas for volume B is equal to 7.2 meter cube temperature for B initially is 400 Kelvin and the pressure for B is 2 times 10 to the power of 4 Pascal okay so this is before so after we open this tag what happened is uh, the pressure the higher pressure it will flow to the lower pressure until they reach the equilibrium uh, position okay meaning that when the pressure for A and B are the same then it will stop Okay, so meaning that here because we know that the pressure at A is higher, it's greater, meaning that the pressure later it will flow from A to B. Okay. So since this is an ideal gas, so we know that P V over T initial will equal to P V over T final. Okay, so meaning that before open the connecting tab and after open the connecting tab. So before open the connecting tab, our P A V A Ta plus P B V B over T B, okay, is equal to P V A over T A plus V B over T B, okay. Because P at the end after they open the connecting tab, pressure for A and B are the same. So I factorize out the pressure, okay. So before opening the connecting tab, the pressure for A is equal to five times ten to the power of four. And the volume is 3, the temperature is 250 plus pressure for B is 2 times 10 to the power of 4, volume for B is 7.2 and the temperature is 400. Okay, so after opening the connecting tag, okay, uh, the volume is still the same and the temperature are the same. Okay, so we need to find the new pressure, okay, where the volume for A still remain unchanged, 3 over uh, 250 for the pressure. Uh, over 250 plus uh, volume for B still the same 7.2 because we're using the same container and the temperature for B is 400 okay so we can find out the new pressure after the opening the uh, connecting tab is equal to 3.2 times 10 to the power of 4 and the unit is Pascal okay so that's all for this chapter Okay, we will continue with 13.2 Kinetic Theory of Gases. Okay, see you on next video.